What? Why, hello. I haven't seen you around here in a while. Fancy meeting you here on my, on my channel. Of all the places. It's been... Well, it, 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 it's been too long. Far too long. So I haven't done a blog in a while. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's been... It's been quite a while. You can tell my hair's, you know, fucking low now. That shit is crazy. What have I been up to this whole time? Well, besides excessive amounts of uni, I have... Hmm, what have I done? I bought Pokemon. Love the Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Yeah. I've had that bitch for like five weeks now, and I've done five badges, if that means anything to anyone. Five badges in five weeks. Not really a good record. I really should have just like not got Pokemon and put more time with this, but sorry. Wanna know what else I've done? Check this out. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Look again. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks very much for having me. It's been, a, it's been an amazing time here in Melbourne, and uh, you guys have given me a, an exceptionally warm welcome. So. Will this freshen your memory? I met Tom Felton, aka Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. I'm not that great a Tom Felton fan, well at least I wasn't until I met him. Like, it's always just been like, oh, he's that guy from Harry Potter. And when I saw him, I was like, It's fangirl panties kind of thing. It was all like, oh my god, that guy has been this close to Emma Watson. Emma Watson. I don't mind a crush on Emma Watson. Wish I got more footage, except they're all like, hey, you're not allowed to film anything. So, it was all like non-flash photos for the next 20 minutes. But at least I got the intro bit, I guess. And I got this. I don't know. Jealous. That's me and my friend Aaron. With Tom Felton. We're in a line of screaming fangirls for like 20 minutes. I'm actually surprised at how efficiently the line went. But anyway, he seemed like a really down-to-earth, normal kind of guy. He kept making jokes about how his friends tease him because of things that he's done in the movies or like how high-pitched his voice was in the first one. And uh, when Emma Watson punched him in the face, apparently she really punched him. She was like, hey, let's go practice. And he was like, yeah, all right, thinking, you know, fake slap, just smacked him one right in the face. Someone asked him what he thinks of all the fanfic going around. For those of you who don't know, here's a fanfic picture. It's kind of like, slash fan. Yeah. What do you think about that, Tom Felton? And he was like, I'm very keen for expressing any sort of creativity. I'm never going to read it again, because when I did, I got freaked out. That stuff has never happened, but if I'm I'm all for encouraging people in any sort of creative field. I'm just not going to read it. That shit is fucked up. Pretty much. Yeah, he was very careful with the words that he used. So. Then he said, I've never been naked in bed with Dan Radcliffe, at least not that there's been photographic evidence of. And then all the fangirls are like... <sighs> and then, like, shit started to go really weird. Like, there was a QA and a session, and a lot of questions were like... Can I slither in? And that was it. And have you lost your wand? If so, can I be your new wand? That was from a guy. And then this random guy gave him flowers. And he was a little bit freaked out, to be honest. It was fucking fun. He said that the creepiest thing he's ever heard from a fan, or the best sort of call hit on joke, was I'll show you my snitch if you show me your wand. It just got crazy. And then this little girl's all like, How do you get to Hogwarts? After he's been saying the whole time, oh, you know what, you know, clearly the magic's not real, we have to like Photoshop it in afterwards. And they're all like, please, Mr. Draco, how do you get to Hogwarts? How do I get in? It was cute. There were like two of them. And he's like, uh, uh, well, when you grow up, you'll receive a very special letter from Hogwarts if you're magic enough, which I think you are. Yeah, he's very good with the kids. He's very good with everyone, really. He didn't seem really up himself or anything, which was good. And he said that there was this one scene in, I think it was Chamber of Secrets, where he kept getting it wrong and eventually he just ended up crying in front of everyone. And then they, 
the directors were all like, it's okay, it's okay, young, young Tom Felton. We'll, we've got enough. We'll, we'll just, we'll just use with what we've got. It'll be fine. And then they cut the whole scene from the movie. He was a bit devastated. He said that he only saw J.K. Rowling like three or four times and he was starting to worry that she didn't like him at all and they hated like the guy that they chose to play Draco Malfoy because apparently she told extra little bits about characters to each of the actors who played them and like to help them understand their characters a bit more, stuff that wasn't in the books. But um, he was asked about that and she, he was like, no, she didn't tell me anything. I don't think she liked me very much. Well, I didn't until a bit later on because I only saw her a few times. So that was a bit awkward. He said what always used to freak him out when they were doing filming was that in the times between, Voldemort and his full makeup would just be sitting there having a chat with the director and having a coffee or things like that. Freak him out, apparently. Oh, yeah, um, one more thing. He said that his girlfriend may act his wife in the epilogue. And he said, I can confirm that she was there on the day, but what gets made into the final cut, I won't be sure. And whatever ends up in the movie, I have no idea. I'm going to think of something else awesome once I'm done making this video that he said, and I'm just going to be like, God damn it. In which case, I'll stick it in the description box, wherever the hell that is now. Moving shit around, YouTube. Fantastic, isn't it? I can summarize my last two months into, I met Tom Felton, I bought Pokemon. That's my life in two months for you. I'm actually going to Europe in less than two months, so that's going to be quite exciting. So I might actually get some video stuff done while I'm over there and be all like, Look guys, it's the Eiffel Tower. Motherfucker. Yeah, I'll definitely be taking my camera over. Maybe not my computer, but maybe I can just upload some quick things while I'm there, or maybe do a big one when I get back. I'm not sure. I'll figure something out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends if you like it. I don't know what that was. Ends video.